Welcome. Casting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And how's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode here of the Indie Super Show, brought to you by the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Spreaker Radio Network, YouTube, and also on the iHeart Radio app. I want to welcome everybody in for another show. I'm Coach Kev, leading you the way today. As uh, about 7:30 today, we will welcome in finally the owner of ECWA, Mike Tartaglia. As uh, we have some questions we'd like to ask him and more or less try to find out where all this heat that stemmed with him and Chad Meninis of of uh, standalone wrestling and where this all came from. And, you know, kind of like what I said last week on the show, why would somebody who has a, a lot of issues of their own with their own company and their and their own promotion like get into a tit for tat Facebook social media argument. It, to me, it made it makes no sense. It's kind of uh, you know, mind mind your own p's and q's because you got your own problems. Don't worry about talking about other people's problems on social media and in the public when you have your own to worry about. So nobody's perfect in this in this world, let alone in this wrestling industry. We all know that this this business is full of. Uh, backstabbers, scumbags, liars, cheats, thieves, uh, you know, and unfortunately, the really genuine people, the really special people, the ones that great communicators show up on time, always give 100% regardless of how they feel or what they went through that day, always ask how they can help, not ask about themselves, et cetera, et cetera. Those people are in a minority, unfortunately, in this industry because it's just full of really disgusting people. And it doesn't matter if it's, it starts from the bottom at the schools or the workers themselves or works their way up into uh, the promoters running the companies to the people who are doing the marketing, the people who are ripping down posters in areas where there's competition, you know, or the, the social media, you know, keyboard tough guys who just go on and and shit on everybody so to me I want to get to the bottom of this I want to know where this all came from I want to know why you know someone who's got their own issues is so focused on someone else but then goes on their own show and tries to divert all the heat off him and and make himself kind of a a mortar and, and say hey um you know why is everybody talking about me? You know what 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 did I do? And you know again it happens all the time. So you know we got a bunch of questions. It's going to be a nice Q and A with Mike. And uh, like I said, he confirmed as uh, as far back as forty five minutes to an hour ago he was calling in at seven thirty. So I'm hoping he does. Uh, we have a lot of questions to ask him. It's a lot that I've put together. Some I've accumulated from. Uh, material that was provided to me. I've done my diligence as far as research is concerned uh, with some of the things that have been said to make sure that they actually uh, were legit and not just uh, angry people just trying to shit on them. So, um, you know, I I, I like to get to the bottom of this. And uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to uh, hearing from him and uh, hearing some of the questions and some of the answers. And, you know, I... As I always do, we've done in the show. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the questions. I, ex, you know, expect the answers. If you choose not to answer it, you know, the the typical I plead the fifth stuff. 
then you know the public will make up their own opinion. But you know, we'll we'll get to the bottom of this. So we're gonna take our first commercial break. Uh, and when we come back, we'll uh, talk a little bit about some uh, WWE stuff and uh, the past pay-per-view and things like that. So we can lead right into the uh, 7.30 time slot. And uh, hopefully Mike is still going to be giving us a call. So sit back, relax. Give us about a, well, let's say maybe an hour, hour, 15 minutes of your time tonight. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey, it's Tony Schiavone, formerly of WCW, and I'm almost desperately out of time. But I want to remind you, you're listening to the Indy Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. wrestling superstore selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world including wwe impact wrestling japan mexico and the very best of the independents they've got action figures dvds autographed memorabilia t-shirts magazines trading cards stickers vintage video games and more plus stop in and get tickets for great promotions such as uwa elite c z w and many others Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Blue Building Booths, 46 through 48, on 90 Wilson Avenue in Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to facebook.com backslash Funkenstein INC for more information. What it do, baby boo? This is Casey Two Scoops Spinelli, and you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Ba bam! Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. How did our eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? Hey, wrestling promoters and booking agents. You know where you can get inexpensive prints of your higher talent? Right here at Fast Copy Printing Center located in the Pearl of the Bay Shore. That's right. Whether you need 8x10s, 11x17s, posters, long format, or even weatherproof signs, we can do it all. We also can create promotional items for your business, such as pens, business cards, drink koozies, banners, or just a coffee mug. Stop on down to Fast Copy Print Center, 81 Broad Street in Keyport, New Jersey, or just call at 732-739-4646. No job is too big and satisfaction is guaranteed. Tell them, Damage 365 sent you. This is Soraya Knight, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio. You want to play with me, boy? This is the King of Chaos, Logan Black, and you can catch me every Thursday night along with the boss man, Warriors of Wrestling Zone, Joey B, as we do our live Facebook Q&As on Facebook Live. Feel free to hop on in with any questions, comments, just about anything that pops into your head, and we're going to talk about it. We've got our own segments, we've got our own things to talk about every week, including what's pissing Joey off today. That's right, check us out on Facebook Live or right after the show. Damage 365 Radio Network. 
Check us out on there. It's posted. You can listen to it at any point that you want. I suggest listening to it sooner than later. Trust me, you've got nothing better to do. That's Thursday nights, 10 o'clock, Facebook Live, or right afterwards on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Come out and play. This is Nyla Rose and Native Beast, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we got a, uh, a surprise uh, call-in guest that uh, decided um, to bless us with his presence. Richie D. Gregorio of RDP Promotions calling in. Welcome, welcome back to the show, Rich. Thank you, Kevin. It's always a pleasure to speak with you and be on your show. So, um, you, you made some uh, some pretty big announcements the last couple of days. Uh, guests that you're bringing to big event on November 10th in Queens, and for fans yes. that uh, you know might might live under a rock, go to BigEventNY.com to get tickets to get in. So you can have the opportunity to meet some of the guests that RDP Promotions is bringing in. Uh, you announced uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, WWE Hall of Famer. That is correct. That will be there. You have a uh, former uh, WWE, um, I, I hate saying diva, but women's star, uh, Oksana, correct? That is correct. You have former... Impact Champion, Velvet Sky. That is correct. And you just recently announced... You have this morning. One of the, uh, the newer personalities on WWE TV right now, uh, known for her backstage interviews, especially some of the really good ones, and probably be even more prominent that uh, Renee Young is on broadcast now, so you'll see more of this woman on WWE TV, but you will see her at Big Event with RDP Promotions, is Charlie Caruso. That is correct. It's a very rare appearance, and uh, I had the privilege of getting to know Charlie and meeting Charlie, and uh, we were able to put a deal together, and WWE said okay. So I'm extremely happy and extremely pleased that she will be touring with us us for the big event and uh, being at our table. So definitely stop by by our table and say hello to Charlie Caruso and any of my guests. And just so everybody knows, was we're running a special promotion until midnight tonight. If you purchase a Charlie Caruso combo, a combo of $40, where not only will you get an autograph and a photo op with Charlie Caruso, you will also get an additional item signed by Charlie Caruso, whether it be your item or an item I provide on me absolutely free so for tonight all the way up until midnight you have until midnight to do this you'll get if you purchase a combo of forty dollars you will get two autographs at items them signed and a photo op with charlie caruso and folks who don't know richie and don't know rdp there's two words that usually don't go in the same sentence and that is free with RDP. That's right. So you have to take advantage of this. Absolutely. It's, it's a deal that if the no-brainer, people will pass it up. I've been getting in feedback and sales all day today. And I want to publicly thank the fans for their support in this and appreciate you coming out to support the big event and supporting RDP promotion and Warriors of Wrestling, which, by the way, hey, this is with conjunctions of Warrior Re- Warriors of Wrestling. So, yeah, please make I, sure you I, mention that so I don't get yelled at you for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I will make sure of that because he's been already called. He's been calling me a clown all day today anyway. Uh, you know, I, I, I might have had something to do with that, you know, uh, with the with the oh. whole hashtag honk honk. Oh, honk honk. Well, listen.